Hey guys, it's Hafiz and today we are going to talk about uh, the reefer unit, how to reset any code that we have on the reefer unit that sometime we can clear from the just clicking on the menu button and then uh, we go to alarms and uh, we can clear that from there, right? Just like that and we clear the alarm from here. Uh, so most likely most of the alarms they will be clear from here but sometime you have to go into the system to clear that and also I'm gonna take you to the uh, the menu where we can make a lot of changes into the uh, reefer unit and we can uh, change the settings so as you can see that we have a alarm code and that's why we have a caution light so this is what we're gonna do we click on menu and you see the exit button select button on this one and next on this one so there's always an empty button so you hold that one and you hold the exit button together for a couple seconds and it will take you to the next menu uh, now you can see our meter gauges you can make changes uh, into the gauges sensors you can look at their settings alarms so you can clear some alarms from here now it's a maintenance menu so you can click on that and you can clear a lot of alarms from this point but sometimes there's more alarms that you cannot set a uh, reset from here so you go back and you back into the same maintenance menu and you keep going all the way you can see display self-test evacuation software set time and date so you can change the date and time over here in this setting but uh, we are going to the next menu which is we just hold this button because you see the empty space over here so you click on hold this button and now the exit button together and now it's going to take you to the next menu which is guarded access so you don't want to mess around with the, these features because um, if you don't know uh, what you have to do so <coughs> now you can keep going next next and you see alarms so you can clear a lot of alarms from here so you click here and almost every single alarm you can clear from this point so you go back you can clear the alarm from here or the uh, the menu before that all right so we on the main screen and I'm gonna repeat the same process we click on the menu and then we go to the next menu we hold the empty button and exit button together and we go to the next menu we can see what we have in the options we go all the way down now you can see another empty space and the exit button together you hold it and got it access so now I'm also going to uh, show you some features here that is programmable features so you select that and now you can see <clears throat> the Fahrenheit is the temperature restart unit after shutdown sometime your unit uh, don't restart uh, uh, once it's shut down so you can unable or disable it so the next is set point high so that's like some uh, you know the highest temperature the reefer is gonna go up to 80 and uh, you can also set the lowest temperature which is at minus 20 from here so you can make changes here you can set it to below or above this point if you don't want to do that so sometimes the reefers are stuck at a certain temperature and you cannot go below that let's suppose sometimes they set it to the zero and you cannot go below zero and you'll be like what's going on so you can make changes over here and the next is fuel saver which is enabled high speed pull down fresh frozen range and you can see door open forces so you, as you can see that it's null so sometime when you are back into the door and your doors are open it's really hot or really cold and your reefer is having a really hard time to uh, pull down the temperature or uh, uh, when the doors are open so the re reefer unit is gonna shut down so if you select this option and uh, 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 
select yes on that. So the reefer will stay on even the door is open and the temperature is not making that much change. So this feature is very important if your doors are open and the reefer is shutting down at the end. So sometimes people have to call the road service for this one. Same thing over here, you can set a time for the door open. A lot of other options you can see. So this one is like block air shoot. Now suppose if uh, they put a pallet uh, really high and your air chute is blocked like on the roof. So uh, the air is not circulating inside the reefer. So you can enable it and it can warn you that the pallet's too high or maybe it's blocking the air. So it can save you from, um, uh, from uh, a bad load. So these are the things that we don't want to mess up, you know. So, a lot of other features, you know. So you can always uh, go through that, but I would recommend not to mess up with these features if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, so the only few features that uh, we see, like uh, the open doors, sometimes the roof is shut down that you can uh, play with, and uh, also um, also you can enable the the uh, the shoot feature, and uh, so if there's any blockage or anything, you can. Uh, uh, play with those kind of feature, but don't mess up with uh, any other features. So I'm just not touching anything and uh, I'm just going back to the previous menu as you can see the previous menu is programmable features I was into that and now I'm gonna take you to the main menu configuration like you can uh, uh, You can make a lot of changes to the main menu like if you need to add uh, some features onto the main menu you can just uh, uh, Go in here and you can make changes also. There's a hour meter so if you go into that, you can see um, <clears throat> so you can set the service like when you have the oil change, you're gonna set the alarm into the system, and uh, it can tell you, you know, if the service is due or not. So you can enable it, so it tells you if your service is due. You can always go back without making any changes. And this button, defrost, is uh, if you guys know that uh, if your reefer is not cooling down quickly, and let's suppose it's really hot outside, and uh, sometimes the ice comes in uh, uh, on uh, uh, inside the reefer. So you can always click manual defrost and uh, let it uh, defrost the ice a little bit and then it can always uh, uh, cool down faster. So you can do the manual defrost on that. Alright, so I'm just going to show you that I'm going to clear my code right here. 